Dublin is great. Has a good question here. He says, "Is TJ the best hurler of all time?" TJ Reid. Um, it's an interesting one. Like I was watching the coverage on the BBC, and they were discussing that at halftime. Um, very good coverage actually on on BBC this weekend. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Actually, in fairness, um, and yeah, like they were discussing, like is is TJ Reid the the greatest hurler of all time? Obviously, he gets that. Um, you know, he scored what was it, twelve points today, and obviously overtakes Patrick Horgan as the um, all-time top scorer in the history of the All Ireland Senior Hurling Championship. Look, we'll see what happens next year. Patrick Horgan might catch him up again, and we'll see what happens. But um, from a TJ Reid perspective, like he's such an immense hurler, like he is the complete package. Like he, as we've seen at times in this game, like he was defending in the round, he was nearly playing at centre back, he was dispossessing Rory Hayes, setting up on Cody. Um, you know, scoring remarkable points, so reliable on freeze. Um, which which you know we we've come accustomed to with a player like TJ Reid. Um, but is is he the best hurler of all time? Like, there's obviously some greats in there. Christy Ring, um, of course, as we very well know, Henry Shefflin himself. What what do you reckon? Joe Canning's another one up there, I suppose. Um, yeah. Like, geez, it's a very very hard hard question because. There's so many, so many of them. Um, if you look at TJ Henry, I'd say Henry was nearly better. I think TJ's scoring record is absolutely incredible. There's no doubt about that. But in terms of overall play, was Henry a better player? In my honest opinion, I think TJ's an unbelievable player, but Henry was just incredible as well. You can't forget the quality in Henry Sheffield had as a player. Obviously, Christy Ring, neither of us would have seen uh, Christy Ring, but... Um, I don't know, would any of us have seen Christy Ring where you were on back then, or but um, but um, oh. yeah, <laughs> might have been, might have been, but um, yeah, obviously, we've never seen Christy Ring, we've never seen uh, Mick Mackey play, and um, Brian Wheelan maybe from Offley could have been up there. Um, jeez, it's a very, it's a very hard him. Um, one to go, it's kind of like in soccer, you're saying the Messi Ronaldo is unequivocally, unequivocally the best player of all time. And then you'd be put in the conversation, Pelle and Maradona. But you're saying, oh, we've never seen Pelle and Maradona. It's kind of difficult when you don't see either of them play. But I get the point where it, the game does evolve as it goes on. And probably, like, in this day and age, TJ would probably be... Like, but in general, Henry would probably succeed in this day and age too. You know, so it's a really, really tough call. Ultimately, Ard, I think Henry... Is better than TJ at this present moment of time. But if TJ wins in All Ireland, though, if he drags Kilkenny to an All Ireland against Limerick in two weeks' time, you could come back to me and I might have a different answer then. Like it, it yeah. does, it, time is amazing in that sense. So I, I'll open to know, I think I praise TJ Reid throughout the podcast, but I still think Henry is, is just an unbelievable, was an unbelievable player as well. So it, it's a very difficult one. Well, what do you think? Do you think it's Henry or TJ? I think it's probably still Henry. I think, in my opinion, um, I mean it's a tough one. Like it's a, it's very very close because like Henry Shefflin's obviously won ten All Irelands. TJ Reid has won seven. I was just looking there. Christy Ring has won eight. Um, so like you could argue like, you know, like Henry Shefflin played in a much better Kilkenny team. Um, look, not by much. I mean his Kilkenny team is really good as well. But like the the, the side that Henry Shefflin played in was was generational. I mean, you had players like DJ Carey in there as well. You had so many greats, like, you know, like Eddie Brennan. Um, so so many greats from 1 to 15, like, in, in that Kilkenny side. Um, you know, like, and obviously back then, there, there, there was no Limerick side. So, not that it was easier for Kilkenny to win All-Irelands, but I think Kilkenny were the team. You know, they were the team to be um, back then. So, like, you know, you could argue it was easier for Henry Shefflin to win All-Irelands back then. But this, but with TJ Reid... Like he's probably played in a much younger Kilkenny side, and he's played in a Kilkenny side that's had a big transition over the last couple of years, especially with Brian Cody obviously retiring and Derek Lynn coming in. And like TJ Reid still produced, you know, he still keeps producing time and time again. Um, so you could argue, like, you know, if TJ Reid gets another All Ireland under his belt and sort of ends this mini drought for Kilkenny of you know without an All Ireland. You could argue then that you know that weight of that achievement, and I think the weight of the achievements do matter. Um, because skill level, like it's you know, it's tit for tat, really, isn't it? Like both couldn't do everything with the ball, and you know, like it's you know, it's like picking one out of a hat, really. Like, like I guess the argument with honors in general, but 
you have to take into account as well, TJ is encountering an era of Limerick dominance at the same time. So it's a very, very difficult one. It really, really is. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'd still have to get yeah. yeah, I think if TJ Reid has a man of the match performance against Limerick and ends Limerick's dominance, I think that probably, I think that probably does it. Yeah. Well, I definitely agree with you there. Um, I could see that so un- unequivocally in Bairn and would take up the eight all Ireland's his arm. So, you yeah. know, like I, I, I would definitely put TJ among the bracket. Well, he's among the bracket anyway, but mm. I'd probably put him above Henry if he wins the all Ireland. That's a big if, really big if, because we know this Limber team's an incredible team in general. So it's going to be a very, very tough ask, but. Yeah, I'd still go Henry. I, I, I've watched Henry. I've watched him as a young lad myself. And geez, he's, he was an incredible hurler, arm. Incredible. You know, he could do anything with the ball. That goal was a clutch moment against Tipperary in 09. I think you remember that as well. An incredible finish that was um, from a tough a tough penalty, a pressure cooker penalty. So, she's oh, a very, very tough one. But right now, I'd probably have to go for Henry. But I think we could both say and we'd be in agreement to this the greatest of all time does come from the land of Kilkenny, the land of hurling itself. Yeah, yeah, no, I do think so. And look, I mean, you could argue the case that the likes of Aaron Galan, who's still in his early twenties, could could very well be in that conversation, you know, when his when his career is is coming to a close. And, you know, the likes of Jeremy Burns, Keen Lynch, um, could could all very well be in the conversation um already. And, you know, all those lads are in their you know mid twenties or so, so um, definitely definitely could all be in the conversation. But 